What's going on? It's Kevin with Optimize Essentials and today I'm going to share with you another squat assessment, how to assess what happens or what happens when you're doing a squat and then your feet collapse in or your foot flattens, all right? What, what is the root cause behind all this? Today I'm going to be addressing that and I'm going to be sharing with you uh, the NASM squat assessment form. If you haven't checked it out, make sure you take a look at it. This will give you a good understanding of what's going on or what to look for in a squat. It's perfect if you're a fitness professional or if you're someone in the health and fitness industry and you want to have a better understanding of the human body and the biomechanics of how it moves and posture, all right? So without further ado, let's get right into it. So what happens when you're squatting down? And then to not block the view, I'll show you what happens, all right? Your feet, there's, a, there's an arch right here, right? There's an arch. Typically, if you have strong... Uh, active foot muscles, there's going to be an arch. What happens is most people nowadays, they don't really use their feet much because of the shoes they're wearing. And then when they squat or when they do daily activities, their feet actually collapse or pronate. It's hard to make my foot flat all the way. I do have pronated feet, but I've been working on them a lot. So my arches have raised a little bit, but I can't completely flatten out my foot. So what happens when your foot pronates or even flattens out? So the very first thing you have to understand is you have weak intrinsic foot muscles that you want to strengthen, which NASM doesn't exactly cover or explain to you how you can do that. But uh, before I go into explaining what you can do about it, I want to address all the underactive and overactive muscles. So the, the other muscles that are responsible for keeping the arch in your foot are your tibialis anterior and posterior. These muscles help plantar flex your foot. They help raise or they help uh, raise your foot, dorsiflex, I'm sorry, they help dorsiflex. Your calf uh, plantar flexes your foot. So when your, your calf is tight, what happens is it kind of pulls up. And instead of your toe coming up and walking on your heels, your foot actually turns out. So if you haven't, turns out or flattens. And if you haven't seen my video on the dangers of tight calves, you want to make sure you check that out because I go into detail about the dangers of it, and if you want to learn how to assess it, I have another video on that too. But there's a lot of issues and nasty issue, situations that is associated with tight calves. And flat feet and pronated feet are one of them. So you want to make sure you stretch out your calves, which are one of the tight muscles, but you also want to pay attention to your tibialis anterior because that helps raise the arch in your foot. And then the other tight muscles that you want to pay attention to that are contributing to your, your pronated feet. One are your calves, yes, but also your peroneals. Your peroneals are these muscles on the side of your foot or your leg or your tibia, side of your tibia that when they get flattened, shortens, all right? So if you can imagine the muscle right here, arch right now, it's in a good position, but when your foot flattens and it turns out and everts, what happens now is it shortens, bam. And then if your foot turns out because your calves are tight, this shortens too. So you want to imagine short, short here and short lateral gastrocnemius that causes that eversion of the foot and then pronation as well and also potentially flat footedness. I personally don't think flat foot is necessarily genetic. It very small chance it might be, but I think flat foot just comes from inadequate use. You might have a history, a family history of people who have lower arches and through repeated centuries or generations of not using your foot, then that causes that flat footed look that you have. I definitely think the core, the whole upper uh, kinetic chain has definitely an influence on your flat foot, but I'm going to save that video for another day. If I ever decide to post it, I'll come back and link it. However, flat foot, I think, can be fixed. You just have to be really mindful of all of the muscles that are associated with it and what you can do about it. And then before I wrap things up, there's also a few more things that I want to address. It's not just the muscles around your foot. If you have a weak core, if you have an anterior pelvic tilt, that will contribute to it because anterior pelvic, anterior pelvic tilt is associated with internally rotated femurs and then pronated feet. Pronated feet can cause an anterior pelvic tilt, but an anterior pelvic tilt from sitting too much, which means your hip flexors, your uh, psoas, your TFL, your quads, if all those are tight, will turn your butt into an anterior pelvic tilt, 
and then as a result, that'll push in your femurs and then internally rotate your tibia and then pronate your feet and there you go, flat foot. So that's all the things I wanted to cover. If you want to recap quickly, what's going on? Weak intrinsic foot muscles, tight peroneals, tight lateral gastrocnemius, weak tibialis anterior and posterior, so you want to make sure you strengthen those. How do you do it? Well, for your foot, you want to make sure you kind of lift up on your arch and stand like this as often as you can. That will help teach your muscles to retrain the muscles. You can take some uh, towels, you can claw your feet, or you can claw out the towels and move the, move the towel back and forth. That will help strengthen your feet. You can stretch out and release your pronials. I recommend releasing the pronials first on a, on a foam roller. So release those on the side by stacking it on the side and then using an isolated medicine ball or a lacrosse ball for more of a pinpointed pressure. And then also releasing and stretching out your calf first on the foam roller and also stretching out on a staircase or a stairwell. And that is all my friends. You wanna make sure you stretch out your hips too. If you haven't seen the video on the on the anterior pelvic tilts, you want to make sure you check that out because I have a really deep and extensive guide on how to fix that. And that's all guys, if you have any more questions, comments, concerns, feedbacks, make sure you leave that down below or send me a message. And if you're looking for a program that will teach you how to assess your own posture and how to work out correctly based on the fundamentals of proper tra training technique and how to eat for your body type, Make sure you check out my 20 day transformation program at optimizeessentials.com. And that is all, guys. I am out. Make sure you stay tuned for more. Subscribe so that you can see more videos to expand your awareness on the human body, guys. I'm out.